Following an extremely demanding year, desktop users team is running out of wind. So for the first time since the selling updates debut, we are going to have a nice little break in August. We'll recharge the team's batteries and come back to you early September selling the waves at full pace. But first, softball match race. This is an impressive victory for British skipper Jan Williams and his team. You're watching the selling updates desktop news. Welcome to the office. The Sopot match race is taking place on the Baltic in the Polish holiday resort close to Gdansk. This is the first occasion that the Polish event has appeared on the Alpari World Match Racing Tour and its unique flavour has proved a great success. The final day starts with the last semi-final races. Francis Matthew Richard is able to secure a final berth promptly against Trelok Hanfield. Being two down against Phil Robertson, Williams manages to win three races in a row to secure the second final berth. Starting this morning, I guess we thought that the semi-finals was as far as we were going to get, but uh, the guys just came out firing. So racing for the sop up match race title, we have Jan Williams from Great Britain facing off Matthew Richard from France. GAC Pindar plants a penalty on Richards in the pre-start of the first race and pulls ahead until the finish. Getting ahead on the first beat and leading for the rest of the race, Richard is able to level the score to 1-1. The third and final race is a tight one with both boats colliding at the bottom mark. For his infringement, Richard receives a red flag immediate penalty. It's a bit frustrating to, to lose the final but to one and anyway it's a, it's a, it's a good result for, for Team Lena Jets. We, we finished second here, we probably jump a bit, um, climb a bit on the, on the ranking of the, of the World Tour. We are in the game uh, and, and uh, yeah, we cannot say it's, it's so bad, so it's a good result to finish second here. The penalty given to Richard is all Williams needs to sail away to a great victory. We're really pleased to have come through and, and won here in Sopot. We, we came here just thinking if we can get into the, the semi-finals, um, then we can keep the pressure on, on the other team. Foiling Mania continues to dazzle at the 2014 Moth World Championship held on Hailing Island. You're watching the setting up this desktop news. Welcome to the office. No mystery then if some pretty huge names are now regulars on the Moth circuit. But the Australians and British sailors packing the top 14 positions is clearly a big surprise. Over 70 of the world's top foilers converge to this renowned British sailing spot and get a chance to battle it out in the Gulf fleet. This 2014 moth world couldn't be missed since the class has been at the very forefront of what is perhaps the biggest tech revolution in sailing to date. In less than a decade, these guys, the designers and the engineers proved that it could be done pushing the sport to an entirely new era. Much of the credit for the flying success that saved the show for the last America's Cup must be given to the work done here over the years. Super Pro Nathan Outridge just has to be on call and manages to clinch decisive win against Britain's Chris Rushley and fellow Aussie Josh McKnight after 10 spectacular races. Constantly trading top podium position, this captivating three-way shootout is coming down to the very last day of racing. Outridge, however, keeps the lead and stretches away, sealing the deal in the last four regattas to get the gold. Rashley manages to hang on to second place with a single point on Mark Knight in third. So remember, it's not rendezvous next week, but rendezvous same time, same place, early September. Until then, goodbye and fair sailing.